right, Sid, what do you have to tell us? You deliver that navigation, mother bring it, call me warp. Hey, there it is. Jump Yay. to world, better real, just see. Wait, isn't it jump to worlds you've been to before? It might be. Oh, uh, I think you still have to fly there the first time. Ah. Uh, what bell three times? Okay. That's that's what seals the world, isn't it? That's we have to fight a boss first. Right. We gotta like fight a dude. Hey, Leon, that would summon you. It's not like the GFs you're used to. I fucking hate or GFs. The... Like. <laughs> oh wait, they're just called summons in seven, aren't they? Yeah, summon. Yeah. In ten, they're called like. They are called. Aeons. I wanted to say that, but I wasn't sure. I think it's the only game to call them Aeons. No, I think six called them Aeons, didn't they? Espers. Espers. Two games call it Espers, then. Yep, I think, uh... Twelve, I think, calls it Espers. That might be it. But I never played Twelve, so I'm just going off of what I played. I did play Twelve, but I don't remember. I didn't play it very much, but I couldn't get into it. Come on, let me get the fucking thing <laughs> I know a kid that put that put like 500 hours into that game. Why? How? Why? He did like all the fucking uh, optional Wait, hunts and stuff. Went the wrong way. Not sure why I'm fighting these guys. You really don't need to. You've kind of out leveled them at this point. Yeah. Second district. District nine. Yes. So there's a somewhat optional thing I want to do really quick. Or are we just gonna cap this thing off? I mean, if you if it's quick, and... I might actually I might have to do it. This this I'll just do this. Oh! Wow, nice. That was a good dodge. Thank you. I'm impressed. It's the one and only time I'm gonna compliment you on your dodging <laughs> skills because you get hit by that every single time. Because you can't outrun it. Like <laughs> that's why you ever roll. But he turns that fast. Be like butter me. and I'll be on a roll. It only missed me there because Donald got You're so mad. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I, I, the thing, I'm, the the thing I'm thinking of to do is what we have to do. Is it the gizmo shop? Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember going there too. You know, I'm kind of thinking that I didn't ever actually finish this game. Really? I think I got to Hollow Bastion and stopped. But Hollow Bastion is. But I may have finished it, we'll see. My last memories are Hollow Bastion. Yeah, that's. I don't. I think I remember Into the World. Because, again, I did farming and just, like, you had to go there. I'm pretty sure it's called Into the World. I might be completely wrong about that. It's the end of the world oh, as we know it. I feel fine. If Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out and there's no fucking no Hunchback of Notre Dame world, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm remembering this because those flying things remind me of Gargoyles. Yep. I was talking to someone at work one day about Disney's Gargoyles, talking about the cartoon Gargoyles, and they thought yeah. I was talking about the Gargoyles in Hunchback. And I was like... Nice. <laughs> I was like, I can't even be mad because I love both of them. <laughs> Are we still finding... Oh, my God. You guys, I heard you really like Kingdom Hearts Combat, so we're gonna make you do it a whole lot before you can progress. Oh dear. Thank you, Goofy. Blitz! That's a good skill, isn't it? I think so. You probably can't equip it right now. What don't we need? Vortex. I might miss that. What is it? The thingy where when you're far away that like would like jump you in and hit him. Oh. Well, just make sure you're attacking for melee range with your melee weapons. But I like to attack. For... I don't know what Blitz even does. It uh turns on your Nintendo 64 <laughs> and you play football. I thought that there were like lightning things I had to hit in here to like turn this. Oh my fucking god! To like turn this thing on. You might be right. Oh, the buttons. Oh, I'm not gonna fight these because it's just buttons, and I don't even know if I have to. Oh, okay. Like, 
because, you know... Must be more. Yeah, over there. That's... Wow, that was a... Just kill it. <laughs> you remember how bad off we were when we weren't killing Heartless? Yeah, but now we have Cure. <laughs> Right. The world is out. Uh, and healing spells just trivialize everything in RPGs. Yeah. <laughs> it's why I, uh, why my FF8 save has stopped at Cer Cerberus. Oh, I didn't have health. Oh, Bill. But it doesn't matter if you level in Final Fantasy VIII. Everything levels with you. He doesn't have to junction right. That's true. <laughs> then why am I stuck at Cerberus on eight? I don't know. You probably junction poorly. Or you just got tired of it and quit because got body of gardens pouring. It gets better Dun -dun. though from there. Oh my god, where are you going? Just jump onto something. <laughs> what is the camera even doing? I don't know, you're in control of it. Not at the point where it just 360s like that. What did you really think doing what you just did was gonna accomplish? I thought I could jump up there. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, there's a lift over here. Okay. Da 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 da. I didn't see it. Bomb. You didn't see it. <laughs> Please let that be the last one. I heard a dingle dingle ding. Did you? Cause I didn't. I was. Uh, yeah, it's running now. That's true. It is doing it that. It did the dun 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 That's Zelda. No, it's this. It was dun 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 dun. The what Zelda? Dun 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 dun. Or da 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 da. That's what you. That's what I was thinking of. You and your fucking onomatopoeias. I'm not Z. I'm not Pia. Would be Zipper. Yes. I'm gonna hate everything up here. I'm doing vortex again, dude. That's not what I thought it was. Oh, I died. That's right. That's why I'm doing Vortex, because I re-equipped it. Right. God, what a derpy thing to have to do. It's like fucking Monterey Jack and Chippendale. Yeah, like, ooh, jeez. I serve a purpose. What are you doing? I'm... First, looking for chests. Nope! Nope, not right there. Turn around. I, I know, you. but... Just go through the door and make progress. I did go through the door and nothing happened. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a rope here. Found it. Um, maybe? Just get close to there it. It, it said pull. I saw oh, it. Oh, I didn't see it say pull. I was looking for the little circle that appears on it. I didn't see it. And now Ringing we Ringing this, this bell opens up the boss, right? Yes. Or no, don't you have to ring three bells? Well, I gotta go down there and press that thing now. Oh, okay. I believe. Thanks, Sora, for grabbing onto that ledge yep. and none of the ones I would like you to. I guess I can't do it until these guys die. And they're two fat dudes, so have fun. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> well, you know that being behind them is a much better idea. Uh, I know. If you jump if you jump a above them enough, you can trick the hitbox. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I'm trying. I used to be really good at it when I was little. Like, that. Little. Of. As though this game was out when you were, like, legitimately little. I guess. I was in middle school. Hmm. Do I have to do three bells? Because I don't remember one, though. And I made the thing move. That was pretty cool, actually. That was uh, definitely <laughs> executed. You know what I did? Mash decks. <laughs> Alright, so you know what time yep, it is? We'll be back in it's the uh, time for David and. or David. David. Bill and James realized they didn't Look know this game as well as they thought you. they might have. Be right back. There are many. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that happened. Alright, so it turns out I had to ring the bell more than once. That was the... That was the master puzzle. So we were both kind of like... Thinking along the right lines. Yeah. You were thinking one bell. 
I was thinking three bells. But it was really one, one bell, bell that you ring three times. And then this guy shows up again. My arms aren't, my limbs aren't connected to my body. I'm ethereal as fuck. He says that. I thought, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. And he dies rather easily this time, too. <laughs> well, you know what? You're like level 20. Well, that went well. Oh, you know what? I think another one shows up or something. Yep, that's right. It flips over and becomes, like, stronger. Now my feet are my hands. <laughs> oh, Lord! Literally, his feet are his hands, and yes. his hands are his feet. Oh, he's got the dead orange health. Which is like nothing. He, I know, actually, all his limbs have separate HP bars. That's yeah, what it is. Trying to get rid of. Just don't get cocky, sore fox. <laughs> Donald's enemies are my enemies. I can do this all I'm sure you <laughs> could. So, okay, hold on. Speaking of Star Fox, did you yes. hear about the rumor for the Wii U? I read that they might do a crossover with Metroid. Doesn't that hurt a little bit? Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Like, throwing Samus into a universe with talking cartoon space animals? Yeah. But I'm just not sure it's... Like, I love both series, alright? I yeah. get it, they're both good. And it's cool. It's like it's a, it's an okay, like a crossover is an okay idea, but not in that. Not I think those two. Metroid is too serious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not taken as serious as I'd like them to. But. Right. I mean, it still has like a Nintendo whimsy to it. Yeah. But there's a difference between. There is a very very big difference, and the animals are the major cause of it. Yeah. Like they try to take Star Fox seriously, and it just doesn't work because it's like it's exactly like this game. This game, but the Disney characters trying to be serious when you try to like put a dark robe on Mickey and be like, oh, you know, he's he's the, he's the hero. And the same thing with Sonic the Hedgehog game. Characters are too car too cartoony to be taken seriously. Hey, Eric. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. I just don't think it's gonna work out. Neither do I. I hope it's just a rumor. I hope they're making a Star Fox game. That'd be fun. And a Metroid game. I hope they're making a not bad Star Fox game because they make Star Fox games. Actually, wasn't the DS one pretty good? It was okay, but for what it's worth, it's retro. Oh, it's rumored to be making okay, it. That was a... I hope Retro are making a Star Fox <laughs> game. Yeah, and a Metroid game. Yeah. Not, not... I hope it turns out to be another thing where, like, well, Rare was making this game about a dinosaur planet, and we were making a Metroid game, so. Oh. What we thought would be cool is. It <laughs> was Metroid Dinosaur Planet featuring Star Fox. Yeah, there we go. All this time, Falco was a Chozo. <laughs> oh god, that hurt to say. <laughs> it would work. <laughs> You're mad because it would work. This is not where oh, I wanted to go. That was so painful. You have to <laughs> lock the door. Did you do that already? Yeah, I did. Okay, I was looking away because of the Falco Chozo I'm comment. I'm gonna go talk to Sid. Even if this isn't fast, right, it's just very enjoyable to watch for some reason. At least he doesn't like link noise. Hey Leon, I did it. So this town had a keyhole as well. Prizes? Prizes because I saved the town. I mean there's a bed right there. I envy you for seeing a keyhole. Yeah, that's what my little brother says too. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, vaginas. Uh so I turned this on. What did this do? Oh, whatever. Maybe that's something to do with that gizmo shop. Can't you just leave now? You don't need to go talk I to Sid. I gotta talk to Sid, because I, I thought I had to talk to Sid. I'll try. He's in the accessory shop. No, he's up here now. Uh oh. He got his own gummy shop. Alright, now that was quick. Okay, so I guess that's it. Hey, I can open this because I'm a Keyblade Master. 
<laughs> Too bad he didn't even tap it with the keyblade. He just opened it. I just have to look at them. I've transcended locks. <laughs> Yay. One mithril exists in the Disney universe. Me too. Meath. Mithril. Alright, so. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. Do Great we... way to make money for some folks. Do we want to do that or do we want to head to our warp zone? <laughs> I'm glad you've been watching Super Meat Boy. I always... Let's just go to the warp zone. We can come back and do like a spec. If we want to do like an extras episode. With like hundred acre wood and yeah. coliseum battles, even though we probably won't, because we always talk about doing extra episodes. I believe do. in us this time. Just here's our it. first warp drive. It's really, it's a really cool. Watch this. That's just. It's really cool looking. Joker, take us to the mass relay. <laughs> Why'd you go to the coliseum? Because I need to fly. I can't warp directly to that. Oh. If I would have hit normal drive from here, I would have had to drive all the way over. Oh. Yes. Well, that's dumb. Quite a bit. More gummy ships! Yeah. This time, there's something cool at the end of it, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The warp looks cool, doesn't it? That takes you to the other part of the map? I really don't know. I thought it did. It might not. It probably won't. Well, I mean, this level at least looks oh, like something's go. going on. Oh, because if you keep going this way, like, you have to actually hit it. Right. And then they'll, like, tell you. Whoa! This is so Star Fox. Like Except when you nowhere hit... near as fun. Right, but, like, when you hit, like, the portal. It's just like there... You could probably sit your controller down for half of this. Yeah. And not die. Or I could be the best gummy ship pilot ever! Who's piloting it? Uh, not Sora, because he wanted to drive and Donald wouldn't let him. So Donald? Donald wouldn't let Goofy drive! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Chip and Dale are driving it. They might be. They still have communication with us. I mean, that's not a far-fetched thing. Right. Like, literally, I don't need to suspend my disbelief for anything in the Disney universe. Oh, you picked up a special. I did! Holy whoa! Stars are all special. You're a unique little special snowflake star thing. Agrabarga! Oh right, you don't even like go to the map to go to Agrabarga. You nope. just land here. Agrabarg. Agrabarg. City of gypsies. City of love. Who lives here? Aladdin. Ah, yes. <laughs> Robin Williams. <laughs> oh, we get to hear uh, Dan Castellaneta. Eventually. And the keyhole. Okay. What do they plan on doing if they find it? What are they looking for? The keyhole. They're just trying to keep it secure. So that just like... leaves... Oh, Yago, that's right. Is that actually Godfrey? I don't think so. It's someone doing a pretty good job of his voice. Probably the dude from the second movie. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. <laughs> Every, uh, the entire starlit cast of Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar, returned to uh, perform in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Right before they went to Aladdin 3, King yeah. of Thieves. Robin Williams came back for the third one. Though. That was like a big deal. Like, I'm Robin Williams and I need money. <laughs> Desperately. Please feed me. So this is when they start talking about them needing the seven princesses of heart to open the door to something. Well, if the princess is that important. Yes! <laughs> Stereotypical I'm heartless. <laughs> and bring her to me. Don't steep Shut yourself up. in darkness too long. They both wear the same capes. The I bet they shop at the same store. The, the Disney villain yeah. supermarket. <laughs> the house of make believe. Buy the watermelons. <laughs> I would so necessary. sell her out. 
And then it's just, right there, please spare me from your heartless madness. Oh, hi. All of a sudden, control. Yep. God, even like the normal enemies in the later levels are dying so easy now. Yeah. What did I get when I leveled? I don't remember. Blitz, I think. Did you level again after that boss? I think I did. I should see if I can... You're still in combat. You, I know, the thing I, turns I, blue when you're I out. know, but it takes a second to fade out, and if, if it... And it'll fade out for a second before a new group of enemies arrives, if a new group of enemies arrives. So I was doing that, so if that would have ended, I could catch it between the groups of enemies arriving. That was a lot of words. It's a smart move. No, it didn't happen yet. Yeah. What am I doing? I, there's stuff in here, I know that. One of, it's a save point, I think some chests. And Donkey Kong. Yep. Mega potion! Can I not? Can I not? <laughs> I'd like to. <laughs> okay, Link. <laughs> oh, it's a Trinity thing. I see. My babe, my babe, my babe. Save. Ah, yes. I we haven't save. in a while. <laughs> Alright, whoopsie. <laughs> and I'd rather not do any of this ever again. Far again. We're getting on eight hours. Yep. I thought we could do it in ten. <laughs> Excalibur 2! <laughs> Excalibur 2 is the reward for uh, nearly completing Final Fantasy IX in under 12 hours. Oh, they actually have a speedrun reward? Yeah, a lot of people were mad about it. Because, like, you can't... You technically can't get a perfect game without doing it. And people don't want to do that. I thought it was cool to have, like, a reward for speedrun. Because there are a lot of people who do that in Final Fantasy. So wait, is it is it even possible to get a perfect game? Yes, actually. <laughs> you just have to be you. Like there's guides for it online. Just be really meticulous and uh, grab everything that's missable on the way to your first run through. Right. And uh, not only that, but it's a lot of basically just running through areas and resetting if you get too many random encounters. Just like over and over and over again until you luck out and get very few random encounters and then you just do it again in the next area. Kind of annoying. And then you once you have fucking the no a no encounter item. No, there isn't one of those. Oh! Yep. And you have to skip cutscenes. To make it work. Cutscenes count? Yeah, it times you all in cutscenes. But if you like take the disc out and put it in or something, it'll skip it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And you that's not and that's that. not getting a perfect game in the sense of uh, Hello? in the sense of like getting all the items. That's getting a perfect game of staying under leveled throughout the entire game so you can get max stats later I've on. I've heard people talking about doing yeah, that. Like it's just people have like murdered that game. Sorry, I kicked the mic. People have like murdered I'm that dead. game. Where might I find this? We're gonna cut after this cutscene. Yep, that's a good idea. <laughs> Looks like he <laughs> His beard yes. looked like a mustache to me. Allow I was like really confused. <laughs> He's got such a snake-like face. Yeah. Like Even Voldemort level. <laughs> snake level Just Voldemort. <laughs> Have you seen Voldemort's face? Yeah. He is snake. Ah, the like not. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's obviously why Snape is named Snape. It sounds like Snape. So we can we can stop this here after this battle. Oh, that's right, I have a pair right now. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Catch up with you guys later. It's been fun.